Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're doing some cleaning. So while Matt's up there cleaning off the gutters with the blower, I'm gonna have Chuck use the pressure washer and we're gonna clean this channel drain. Cleaning channel drain, it's sometimes you can clean it, sometimes you can't. And I'm gonna show you a couple real quick ways to try it. Um, it. If you have a pressure washer, it does help, but a garden hose will work just as well. Okay, you can see that this isn't really working very well. We're gonna to have to cut a hole down inside there because you just can't get deep enough unless you get down into the actual channel. We're gonna drill a hole through there, perfect. And the reason we put it here is because you can see here's the, the coupling. You see the seam right here? There's a seam right there. We know that there's a coupling right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our pressure hose we're gonna cut the nozzle off you know these little hoses only cost like 30 bucks so you know I'm not too worried about that and you can do the same thing you just cut it off and the reason that we want to cut it off is because we want to get this down into that sand I mean it's just packed full of sand we'll be able to push it down through there and then kick that power on and that thing will just blow that water and the sand right out of there we want to try to do half of it, so we want to push it in there as far as we can, okay? Just keep on pushing it, and again, it's flexible, but you just keep on pushing it until you can get it as far as you can, then we'll kick that pressure washer on, and we'll slowly pull it back. Real simple. Don't be afraid to cut your pressure washer hose, whether it's gas or electric. I mean, if you want to save some money, because this is gonna work and it's gonna be able to, to clean that channel drain, save you four or 500 bucks to have a company come out here and clean it. As soon as you turn your pressure washer on, it's gonna to try to come back out of there. You just gotta let it go. Just let it go until you build up enough pressure and then you keep pushing it. And you can see that water coming out, clear down here. You just got to keep pushing that hose through there until you can get it all the way through that we get it to drain. And I can see some water coming out here at the where it discharges, right here by the sump basin. Remember I showed you this basin the other day. So we're getting a little flow out of there. We just need to keep it coming, keep pushing. You can see them, you got to shake it, push it, get that hose to come all the way through until we get a really good flow of water coming out of there. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side and you'll have a nice clean channel drain. Okay, so we drilled another hole and if you look, you can see that water starting to flow down through here. That's because he's pushing the garden hose this direction. And you can see it bubbling up. Remember that even with the thin hose, it's going to hit the coupling. And when it hits a coupling, it really has a hard time getting past that coupling. So you have to wiggle it, wobble it, whatever you got to do to get that past the coupling. And I'll show you a coupling in just a second. But you can see we're getting some good, good water to come through there. It's looking really good. Cleaned the channel drain three or four or five, six times. And basically what we've got to do is go through this one more time. You can see that there's debris still coming out of it. You need to continue to clean the drain until you see no more debris come out. If you don't, it's just going to clog back up again. But we're really close. Just we're gonna, you remember we made the holes to get our our pressure washer hose down in and then we make a couple more each section of pipe we've got it all the way out to the pit it's looking real good the channel drain you can see it's still quite mur murky it's dirty we know that there's still sand and debris in there so we got to keep going and once that clears up we've got our pump down here and kicks on kicks it out but once that clears up we know that this is in super clean order again my advice to people is do not paint the channel drain. It really makes it tough to clean and it doesn't allow the water in very fast. Micro channel drain works great. Even though it's only inch and a quarter wide and or inch and a half depending on which product you use and it's about three inches thick you know, down to the bottom. It does work and it'll keep up with torrential rainfalls if it's clean. Okay, let's take a look at micro channel drain. This is a replacement channel drain from uh, NDS. Let's start by looking at the top. It comes with a tape on top to keep it nice and clean. This is just a, a scrap piece. Um, the slots are a little different. 
then coming across most of them come across this way but this actually picks up more water and it has a small channel at the top and you, if you notice that it's rectangular some of the older products they have a the same size opening at the top comes down here and it's got a, an inch and a half round could be offset to the side could be centered lots of different channel drains but they all work exactly the same what happens is number one where the line comes out to the end of the pool patio the lanai they usually end it right there and of course there's no place for the water to go number two is that it fills up with sand um, every place it doesn't matter where you're at and there's a coupling that goes inside of here um, that's normal you know this is see a coupling to hold it together it's not watertight but that coupling has little lips around the inside of it water gets or sand gets stuck against those couplings and begins to build up you've got to maintain that channel drain if you don't then you end up with problems and the channel drain that we were working on here I'm gonna go back there and show you again it when they installed it it's quite low in the center of their lanai which is crazy but that's you know what happens it's quite low there and water has has to fill up before it can flow and once any sand gets in there at all they only have this much <laughs> they only have that much room for any water that's the drain size is now what one inch by three quarters of an inch just not nearly enough normally channel drain even though it's this size will pick up tons of water um, it can keep up with torrential rainfalls but you've got to maintain the system so if you look at this channel drain it, we've now got it you know wide open it's very nice and clean but right there in the center you can see that quite low you can see they actually made the concrete drop down into it as well because it's so low and here at the end of the pool deck as it comes around this is quite low and then it turns and it runs back uphill as it comes over to the sump basin where we've got the discharge so again there's always some water down in the bottom of this it only has maybe maybe two inches of, of actual drainage and it's got to be maintained or there will be problems this entire channel drain the whole patio actually slopes that direction all the way down and what needs to be done here is it needs to be cut out and replaced but you know you're looking at four grand somewhere around there to do so a lot of money and if you can maintain your system you know where we've cleaned it for three four hundred um, save some money now granted it did take us about two hours to clean this channel drain it took a long time if you do it yourself you can save all that money but more than that you can maintain your system and avoid having to cut this out and replace it hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day